Hey guys, welcome back to another Gundam Zero reaction. Here we go. We're going to check out what happens after Memento Mori just launched and took out Suile. Is the Colonel still alive? I don't know. Is, you know, Hallelujah going to go crazy and start killing people? Probably. But let's check it out. Uh, uh, want to kill people. Oh, I think the colonel's still alive. He's okay. Dang, dude. It really did just take it out. This is a big crater. That's crazy. Oh, oh, now we're thinking about the consequences of our actions, are we, Lan Wayne Lu May? You dumb... Mmm. Like, why are you concerned? You invested in this and you said, Oh, I want change. I don't care what change it is. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. You're like Oppenheimer. You're like Oppenheimer. Oh, let's just do it. Let's just make an atom bomb. Who cares? Well, they were kind of forced by the government and he had a lot of other stuff going on. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Uh, is he gonna die this time? See, okay. <clears throat> now, this type of weapon, I don't think... I mean, obviously, it's like, oh, we shouldn't have it. Okay. But maybe we should as a self-defense mechanism for Earth, not to be used on Earth, right? But again, I see the flip side. It's like, oh, you know, we really shouldn't have this power. But then, you know, it's like the whole thing of, well, what if something else does come attack us? If there were, like, extraterrestrials, then what are we going to do to fight them? <laughs> we don't have, like, there's nothing. I mean, yeah, you have your Gundams, but, like, I don't know. I, I just always think of that, and I'm like, oh, wow, you know. But again, it's like, we don't really need nukes. What's the point of that? We, ha we have so much power that we could literally kill ourselves all completely. Like, it's kind of crazy, right? Oh. Oh, finally. He's coming up. Yeah. つまり奴らがイオリアの計画を変えたってことか。その <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, he's right. <laughs> oh my god, Setsun's character is so comedic sometimes. He's just like, I'll kill them. And he's like, oh, it's easy, just kill them. It's fine. Oh, everyone's like, oh. I, I mean, yeah, but <laughs> I guess. So I had, I had an idea that I was thinking about, like, checking out some memes and do maybe a video or a stream and then do, like, a video from the stream or something where I check out a bunch of memes from uh, from the show. Uh, I think it would be funny because I've seen a couple while I was like looking for like clickbait and so I think that would be kind of interesting. Is he an innovator too? But he's like one that didn't want to join them or something. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this how they view Americans? Hmm, <laughs> what is this? But you act like you could do better? Like, you guys aren't coming up with the tactics and plans. I mean, Ribbons is, maybe, but like, they're using Veda, not... 
あの。オーライザも質撃できんのかい。え、クトレマイオスに搬送してからも is this his love interest? I, I don't fully trust her yet. New characters, I'm just like, hmm. <clears throat> oh, she knows that they're going to find him. Watch, this mom's gonna die. Like, you just introduce these characters. This is where, like, you know, this is going to be, like, the second act where things... Bro! Oh, dang. Dang, they have a lot of members, huh? So I said, don't, don't fuck up the double O in the meantime, please. this and consist of it's supposed to be pretty interesting right oh <laughs> I, I find it funny that they like physically cloak themselves and when I feel like there could have been some technology that just hide their heat signatures or turn them off completely Kujo you gotta change up your tactics man Oh, damn. We're gonna have to kill Mannequin. <clears throat> Another battle of the minds, I love it. Dude, Gadessa, get out of here, man. It's actually, it's actually pretty badass, I will admit. But, uh... Just because they're the enemy right now, I can't root for them. Even though their Gundam looks pretty cool, and I love their weapon. Oh my god. Oh no. Saji, get, get down there and help. <laughs> what did you not understand three times it took him three times to understand like what she was saying go he's like oh ian oh right <laughs> come on we we gotta i might have to watch the next episode because like i feel like we're not gonna get to the the satellite the memento mori there you go so now come on let's get it Oh, dang, dude. Oh, he's still alive. We can't lose Ian. Oh! <laughs> this man's like, please! <laughs> he's like the, he's like the old wizard on like the deathbed. He's like, Please, take it. You need to deliver it. I mean, honestly, I think in all honesty, Saji could bring him back inside, at least instead of him, so he's not drifting in space. Oh, she's going to bring him inside. Okay, okay. 
Him and Cessna are gonna double team up. I, I, I find it funny that they call him Crossroad Coon. I feel like his last name is also like a play on words, Crossroad, you know? He's at a crossroads here. He's always been at a crossroads. Oh, I can't wait! Come on! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, heck yeah, dude. That looks pretty cool. That's because it's so much better. Nice. We could have killed them all, though. Oh, come on, that's not it. No! No, I, I want to sh- No! I <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I, I don't got time. Alright, we're going straight to the end credit scene. I need him to eliminate the ships and stuff. What? Oh, oh, okay, this episode is called Double O Speaks or the, the Voice of Double O or something like that. I mean, that's a screenshot right there. Okay, I will say, though, like, this is going to be really cool. I'm feeling like that whatever Ayla Schoenberg's, like, plan was, like, the theoretical limit, right, is, like, well, actually, like, this machine is becoming sentient or somehow or maybe connecting on some level. I mean, the innovators are like that. You know, they're basically just machines. Um, but I think he's saying that like the Gundams connect to the human level and since it's probably the only one that can communicate with it It's gonna be crazy. I feel like there's gonna be a setback though that like he has to communicate with it in a, in a good way and like This is maybe gonna go through. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like they have to win. Otherwise, they're gonna get destroyed here Otherwise, I don't know. They, they might retreat though. Who knows? Oh No, this is like this is like everybody. Oh, they can see everybody. They can't hear him back. This is how they meet? <laughs> no way. They haven't even seen each they haven't even slept together, but here they are in like this mind realm seeing each other naked. Like well, I guess they can't see each other, they're just this is like visual representation for us and like what they're going through, right? Each other. That looks pretty cool though. Okay, hell yeah, that was awesome. Um, these episodes are getting better and better. Again, like, it's like, you know, there's kind of a slow build up and then we have like this massive end and there's just, oh, one thing after the other and it's getting more intense. I loved it. I enjoyed it, and if you guys did too, make sure you hit that like button, smash subscribe, comment down below. You know I always love reading it and uh, seeing what you guys have to say. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get notified of when the next episode drops so we can see what happens. You know, what's going to happen with Luis, what's going to happen with Saji here. Um, are, you know, they going to destroy the satellite? Who knows? What is this whole voice thing that's going on? It's a major upgrade. I don't know. I'm going to have to find out. And... I'll see you in the next episode.